what does God expect of us? Of you? Of me? Sometimes I'd like to ask God, why? Why do you allow suffering, injustice, and poverty when you can do something about it? Do you know why I don't ask him? I'm afraid he'll ask me the same question. We are blind to the injustices and the mission committed. We are carriers of the gospel, the good news that was meant to change the world. Belief is not enough. Worship is not enough. Personal morality is not enough. Christian community, not enough. God always demands more. When we committed ourselves to following Christ, we also committed to living our lives in such a way that a watching world would catch a glimpse of God's character, His love, justice, and mercy through our words, our actions, our behavior. We are Christ's ambassadors, wrote the Apostle Paul, as if God were making His appeal through us. Through us. Through us to change the world. Living out our life, our faith privately, was never an option. We can't ignore the simple truth anymore. There is a hole in our gospel, and it needs to be repaired. What does God expect of us? The immensity of human suffering is overwhelming, it's daunting. But God never asks us to give what we do not have. How many loaves do you have? Bring them to me. He never asks us to give what we do not have. But he cannot use what we will not give. 2,000 years ago, the world changed forever because of 12 men. It can happen again. Jesus changed everything. He chose his followers to be the change. He chose you. He chose me. What if? Each of us said, Lord, I want to change the world. And what if? We are the ones to bring good news to the poor. What if? We are the ones to bind up the brokenhearted. And what if? We, we are the ones that we God are the ones to stand, stand up for justice in the fallen world. The gospel without a hole. Imagine it. See the possible. We are the revolution. Because the kingdom of God is within you. My faith demands, my faith demands, I do whatever I can. My faith my demands, faith demands. My faith this demands, is not an option. My faith demands that I do whatever I can, my whenever I am. Demands. Whenever I am, as long as I can, with whatever I have, to try and make a difference. To make a difference. Let our hearts be broken. Let my heart be broken by the things that break the heart of God. Melt these hearts Attitude can determine whether a child lives or dies. But will we be that generation? Will we realize our potential? Or will we sleep in the comfort of our affluence with apathy and indifference murmuring in our ears? Future generations flipping through these pages will know whether we answered the key question. The evidence will be the world around us. History will be our judge, but what's written be up to us. We can't say that we were the generation that couldn't do it. We can't say our, 
we are the generation that couldn't afford it. We can't say that our generation didn't have reason to do it. It's up to us. So what does God expect of us then? Of you and of me? Everything. We are the generation. May we be a prophetic voice, one of both passion and vision. We must not fail to do something just because we can't do everything. heart be broken by the things that break yours. Let our hearts be broken. Let my heart, let my heart be broken. Let my heart be broken by the things that break 